everyone. I'm so excited to be back with you today. Over the past couple days, I hope you've enjoyed hearing from other eBayers like Jordan, Steph, and Eddie. I know that we've loved hearing from you, and your feedback is really the most valuable part of this event. Now, I'm thrilled to welcome seller Liz O'Kane of Colorado Reworn back on stage. It was back at eBay Open in 2021 that Liz got to interview me and ask me a ton of questions. And this year, we're going to turn the table a little bit, uh, and I get to ask you all about being a seller on eBay. Before Liz and I get started, I want to say once again how important the seller community has been to me. Over the last three years, and really my last eight years at eBay, I've learned so much from conversations like this one-on-one. -on -one. We're having large groups of sellers together, giving me advice on what we need to do with the platform. And so these events are important, hopefully, for you to learn a lot, but also important for all of us eBayers to hear from you like we're going to do in today's conversation. You know, the thing that's important, Liz, is that I ask all eBayers to make sure that they're using the platform all the time, buying and selling on the platform, so we get to experience everything that all of our sellers and buyers are going through on the platform, and it really makes it so powerful when we work here at eBay, but get to use the platform every single day. We also know that there's a lot of different paths to becoming an eBay seller. Uh, I talked uh, at my opening session about accidental entrepreneurs, people who just started selling one or two things on eBay and turned it into a business. Uh, and I've met a lot of sellers who have had a different career and then turned that career into selling on eBay, which is kind of like uh, the story that you're gonna share with us today. So many of you are familiar with Liz's story, but you may not know that actually Liz was in the military for many years uh, and had an impressive career there before becoming a seller on eBay. And maybe we start there, Liz, and tell me a little bit about how did your career in the military impact how you think and, and work as an eBay seller on the platform today? Absolutely. I think a lot of aspects of my military career uh, carried over. I think specifically two come to mind. Uh, one of the things that we say in the Air Force is flexibility is the key to air power. Well, I found that flexibility is also the key to selling on eBay, um, keeping up with the constant changes um, that, that really we need because of buyer demand. Um, another one was attention to detail. And I think that that carries over really well into being a seller and providing customer service, providing a great listing uh, that, that really helps our eBay buyers. Well, I know that your buyers probably really appreciate that attention to detail. And <laughs> Flexibility and curiosity are important to work here, but also important on the, on the platform and being able to adapt to changing buyer needs to this tough economy that we're going through right now throughout the United States. So um, I think those traits are probably make you so successful as a seller, which you are. So um, you've been a longtime seller on the platform. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen in the eBay community over the years? So I started selling on eBay in 2002. Um, that, was a, that was a year after I started at the company. I started in 2001. Yes. So you and I go way, way back. Yes. Uh, really, I started on the eBay community pages. And, you know, as technology grew and as social media grew, I found, you know, more and more places to connect with our community in Facebook groups, on Instagram. And I went to eBay Open. Uh, my first year, and I realized that there was an entire community of people just like me, and that's when my eyes really opened. From that point forward, I really connected with other sellers. Not only are they, now they're my friends, but at the time I saw them as coworkers, and my coworkers became my friends, and those friendships have really blossomed over the years because of social. One of the things that eBay has allowed me to do that I love doing is I also host a meetup. Um, we do it quarterly where we're at, um, but I think that it really helps foster that community in person along with the you know, online tools like Instagram, Facebook, and the eBay community pages. So and those you host in Colorado? Yes. And so um, I know I hear all the time that one of the best things for sellers when they get together is just sellers helping other sellers. Yes. And you've done a great job, and now I guess it's been 21 years since you've been on the platform. Uh, so can you tell us how do you build, how do you build community? How do you create that? Yeah, so I love connecting, uh, again, on online in the online forums and in person, I would say to sellers, get out and see if you can find a local meetup group. There are a lot that are growing in our communities and connect with people in person, in your own 
uh, towns and cities. And also get on the eBay community pages. Find that Facebook group. Find sellers that have the same passion as you. Um, I find it's helped me because selling can be isolating when you're a small seller like myself. You know, I'm at home by myself all day long. And having that connection, whether it be the online or whether it be the in-person meetups, it helps you know, fulfill that water cooler mentality that sometimes you get when you're in an office environment or when you're around other people. You know, I just love when I'm invited to meetups or I have a bunch of sellers together, what I love hearing is that, you know, one seller may ask me a question and then another seller be like, oh, have you tried this or we're doing this? Or I just see two sellers saying, you know, I tried this in my category and it was interesting. And I think it's great to see that community of sellers. But more importantly, I love eavesdropping on those conversations because then I realize, wow, we got to make that really easier because a bunch of sellers have that question. Or, wow, that's a really good idea that those three sellers are doing. How do we incorporate that and make it even easier on eBay? So the communities, I think, are great for you as sellers. But I think for us, getting the feedback of like, well, here's what we all think or, or here's some ideas that came out of it has been powerful. And I'm sure over the years, you know, you've had a lot of those things come out of your community events. Yes, a lot. <laughs> So Liz, I know you're also one of our uh, first up and running grant winners. Um, the team is nice enough to let me do some of the announcements to sellers, which I absolutely love. It's one of the favorite things that I get to do. I want to do all of them, but they don't let me do all of them. Uh, and I know Rebecca Michaels gave you yours, but what did winning that grant mean to you? And, and what have you done with your up and running grant money uh, in terms of growing your business? Oh, so the first thing everybody always says is, wow, $10,000, let's just take the money and run. And yeah, the money's nice. The money helped a lot. Um, 2020, you know, the up and running grants, as you know, were yeah. created due to the pandemic. Um, so a lot of sellers were in a, uh, a very tight spot and I was one of those sellers. Um, the money helped a lot, but what I found was really the training and the access to information was what really helped me sustain my business during that time that I needed it. Well, congratulations, it's great. Thank and you. I got to do another one uh, this year. And it's just great to see how sellers over the years have taken those grants and used them to help grow their business or help bring on more people. Uh, in one case, one of the sellers was able to open up a warehouse because of it. And so I'm just excited that we have that program for our sellers. So Liz, one of the great things about sellers helping other sellers is, is sellers giving each other advice. So what's the best piece of advice that you've ever gotten or a piece of advice that you wanna give to other sellers? Wow, a piece of advice that was given to me was leap and a net will appear. Take the chance, leap. Um, you know, one of the things that was a lot in 2020 with the chatter with the eBay up and running grants, uh, you know, it was everywhere. And I thought, that's not for me. I could net, then nobody's gonna give me a grant, but that saying stuck with me, leap in a net will appear. So that really prompted me to say, okay, I'm gonna get online, I'm gonna fill out this uh, grant. And I did, I tried, I took a leap, and the net appeared, and here we are. Well, congrats, I'm glad, I'm glad you got that, uh, that award. So um, sellers, we hope this conversation has inspired you and got you thinking about all the ways that you can use eBay Open to connect with fellow business owners. Uh, we have lots of networking sessions at the end of the day, and I encourage everyone to take advantage of the opportunity to learn and grow from your community uh, and sellers like Liz. So next up, you'll hear from eBay's Global Head of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Barak Eileen, and General Manager of Home and Hard Goods, Mari Corella. And they're gonna be talking more about the up and running grants that uh, Liz received in, in the first grant uh, year that we did it. So Liz, I've enjoyed chatting with you today. Thank you for sharing your incredible eBay story and your journey. I've enjoyed getting to know you over the years. Uh, and thank you, I hope you're able to take some nuggets from this conversation to use back in your own business. So thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you have a great eBay Open.